In chapter 16 of my Fire Emblem, Three Houses, Crimson Flower Playthrough, I ignore all of the repetitive grinding done before the mission, as it has stopped being entertaining, and instead, I focus on the mission itself. I am laying siege to Aryan Road. I arrive to find the supposedly impenetrable fortress has walls that can easily be flown over with a simple flyer. A lack of any Saint archer threat to deal with those flyers. Two completely open drawbridges, one of which is right in front of my forces, inviting me in. And several quote-unquote traps that are utterly useless for anything besides being slightly irritating for me to move my grounded units through. I move in and meticulously dismantle Cornelia's giant robots because this is a medieval fantasy world and Evangelion doesn't exist yet, granting me roughly 12 agarthium for Raging Storm in the next two chapters. I then have Bernadetta grab a gun from one of Cornelia's henchmen and shoot her three times in the chest. Despite her numerous injuries, including but not limited to a broken spine, several bullet wounds, and punctured lungs, Cornelia is still a main villain and goes on a 60 minute PowerPoint presentation on the Warhammer 40k lore before finally realizing that she died of blood loss half an hour ago. I have taken an impregnable fortress city in an incredibly important area, and the kingdom is now open and exposed to my army's offensive. The next move is obvious. I can launch an RT-2 topple M Colt, launch three-stage solid propellant silo-based intercontinental ballistic missile to attack Aria Road. 